Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So I have a rather large haul for you guys because it's been a bit since I've been on. Um, sorry about that. Um, I had a little few kind of odd reactions to my COVID vaccine. Um, and then I started back to work part time. So I've been a little busy and trying to get my body used to being back at work after five and a half years is a bit of a challenge. I've been a little tired. So have a little bit of a haul for you guys. I've got quite a few things from Tuesday morning that I've amassed and haven't put away. I've got um, a couple magazines I picked up. I've got some things from Joann's and some things from Michael's. Just trying to remember where it came from. <laughs> so let me show you guys what I picked up and we'll get on with it. So I do have one other thing that I picked up that I wanted to show you guys. So I love my chalk markers when I'm working with either chalk paper or I have like a little chalkboard sign I use in something. But uh, somebody else had hauled these and I don't remember who it was, but I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, I want to go see if I can find these. Oh, it's my dog. Um, so I found these at Ollie's. I'm not sure if they have these everywhere or if it's just certain places, but these were by the Bored Dudes. They're called chalk pencils. There's six in a package, and they are purple, blue, green, orange, pink, and white. They were $1.29 for the six pencils, and this is what they look like. And I did go ahead and pick up two packages of these. It says they were regularly $6.99, but like I said, I did go ahead and pick up two packages of them because I thought I like the idea of having a pencil versus having a marker. So I went ahead and picked up two packages of those. And then I picked up some things from Michael's, not necessarily on sale. I just thought they were cute and picked them up. The beads were on sale when I picked them up, however. I picked up some breads. These were um, like diaper pins. And there's 24 pieces. So I picked those up. Just kind of trying to... I didn't have a whole lot of brads. I thought these would just add, be cute to add to my stash. These were also 24 pieces and these are little lollipops. And then these look like little buttons, and these are a hundred pieces, and they're just little white buttons. And then I picked up these glass beads. There are 13 pieces, and it says they are turquoise, very turquoise, very turquoise. I think that's what it says. And they've got these really pretty swirls in them. And I picked up two strands of those. I think those are so pretty. So then I picked up two different magazines. I don't know if I can even get to the other one. I think I picked this one up at Sam's. That's where I picked this one up at. And this is a... This one's Disney. It's a Disney magazine. And this is uh, valued at over $29. And it's by Immediate Media. And it has got all kinds of neat things in it. It says Disney. So, and it shows you all kinds of really super cute cards you can make. So, it came with an adorable stamp set. Let's see if I can get into it. I don't even think I've actually been in it, technically. Let's see here. Came with a super cute stamp set that has all the little... Let me grab something white to put behind it. It has all the cute little characters from Bambi in it. There we go. And it says, congratulations, little one, best friends, thank you, and happy birthday. And it's got one, two, three images of Bambi. It's got Bambi and his mother. It's got two images of Thumper and one of Flower the Skunk. And it's got some flowers and mushrooms and things in there. So it's got some foam dots, some card bases and envelopes. 
And then it's got some papers and some toppers and things. So here are the card toppers. You get two packages of, or two, two cards of that one right there. And then you get two of this one here. Which I think is really pretty. That would be pretty on baby, like on baby cards, because it's really pastel. And then you get the papers, and I think there are three of each one, maybe. Yeah. So and they are definitely paper. It's like copy paper weight. And then there's those. I love the little thumpers. And you have these here. Some of these you could definitely use for other things other than just these. And you have these here. Some of these would make some adorable like baby shower cards. They're so cute. Or like baby's first birthday cards. So cute little pink ones. And then we have these two here. And I also saw this set at Barnes and Noble. Just yesterday. So, there we go. That's a super, super cute set. And then I also found, let me rearrange all this so I can get it off my desk real quick. So then the other set that I had found was, let's see if I can manage to move it and not spill everything I have sitting on top of it, which is not smart of me. Okay. So the other one comes in this bag here. It is the by Crafter, the Crafter's Companion one. And it also comes with this box inside of it, which is kind of what you see. Comes with a set of foam dots and that little stamp set right there. It's a bird. Sorry about that. It comes with these card bases here. It comes with two different size card bases. I think this is a six by six, maybe. It's smaller than that. So this is a four, four and three quarter by four and three quarter. Is how big these are. So, and they are all florals. So you've got this one. And this one. I love the one with the pomegranate on. I think it's so pretty. And you get this one. And then this one with the dragonfly. And then you've got these, which are about six and a quarter. Uh, four and three quarters and they are a little different so you have that one and you have the lavender and then this is the pomegranate one but it's a little different it's kind of a more muted pattern and you have 
this one and then this one here and then they did give you some kind of like sentiments in the different colors and patterns let's go with it And then they gave you some papers that you could like layer. These are these are heavier than copy paper, but not quite, not quite, quite cardstock weight. Because they can mimic the cards. Then they also gave you some plain card to layer. Some really pretty cardstock, if you ask me. And this one's got some really, this one has little dragonflies on it. And then that's the last sheet. And then you do have a really nice thick magazine here with lots of different ideas. Of different types of cards it also has like the magazine style paper in here that you can use um, it's got some really pretty like ideas in here there's a hoop in here as well as some really cute these are mostly Easter cards but it's you got some really cute stuff in here as well as there's a Chloe's Creative Binder in here. It's got pockets and storage sheets for a really decent price. That's in European prices, but still. It's got some really nice stuff in there that they had in here. So, I just thought I'd show you guys that. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. And I think that one was $19.99. So, I thought that was pretty good for $19.99. Then, okay, so on to uh, HSN. I picked up a few things from HSN as well. I did pick up this. I had looked for this everywhere on Christmas time and could not find it. I picked up the Biggs Texture Fades um, Tattered, Layered Tattered Poinsettia Die. And it does come with the embossing folder to emboss your pieces as well. So I went ahead and picked this up from HSN. It was on sale when I picked it up. Oh, that, um, the, um, kit also came with this little stick. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm sure I'll figure it out. And then I also picked up this, um, Gemini Crafters Companion die dimension dimension blah, dimensionals die. This is called the Buckingham bag. And that's what she looks like. I thought it was so cute. And this is the pieces that it comes with. So I picked that up from HSM. And then I picked up an LDRS stamp and die set. Two of them, as a matter of fact, but they were so cute. I picked up this one here. It's called Tiki Hut. It's a sending you sunshine and warm wishes, smile, hang in there, rise and shine. And if there's a will, there's a wave. And that is what that stamp set looks like. And then here is the picture of what it looks like kind of colored in. And then I also picked up the matching dye to go with it. And like I said, there's what it kind of looks like. It's hard to see over that. Then I also picked up the Your Jawsome stamp sets, 27 stamps. And that is what those cute little guys look like. 
but they were so adorable. And I also thought some of these would be really cute with some mermaids. So it says, let your cares drift away. You're jawsome. I can't wait to see you. Shall we dance? We were, we mermaid to be friends. And then I picked up the 21 piece die set that goes with that as well. So I thought those were super cute. And as with all LDRS things, it came with a cute little instruction sheet an idea sheet, like project sheet for the stamps and dies. I love LDRS stamps and dies. I think they are so super cute. They always have the cutest things. And I always love to pick them up when HSN has the little set. So I'll pick those up. Sorry about the crinkling. I've been trying to keep them together. I've had them for a while and I wanted to do the haul. I've been trying to keep them all together for a minute. So, from Joann's, I picked up some paper. I picked up some loose paper. I also picked up this. I do diamond art every once in a while. And this little guy here from Star Wars is my husband's favorite little critter. And so I picked this up. I usually do it when we're at the lake. Um at night when he's watching TV or whatever and I can't sleep or I'm bored and I'll do it. So I picked this up to do when we're at the farm. So I picked him up and uh, so I pick, picked him up to do for my husband. I picked up some loose uh, paper. They had their paper sheets 10 for $2 I believe. And so I picked up some loose papers because I found that I'll buy a paper pad and I only like like three or four sheets out of the paper pad and then I'm pretty disinterested in the rest of it. So I thought maybe I'd be better off just to buy four or five sheets of paper that I really, really like. So I think I bought five or six sheets of this pattern of paper. This is by American Crafts and it is called The Color of Memories. So I went ahead and picked those up. I really like this. It's not super heavy. It's more of a paper, but I really, really like the print. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Um, I'm usually not a huge Maggie Holmes fan. So I'll just say it out. I'm just not. But I did find this Maggie Holmes print that I was super fond of. It's called Garden Party. And I love it. It's called Rosebush in the Garden Party series. And this is the print. This is the front of it. And I did pick up quite a few sheets of it. And this is the back. It's the pretty pink gingham. And I really liked it. So I picked up quite a few sheets of it. I found this by American Crafts. I picked up two sheets of it. I just like the cut aparts in it. It's called the, it's from also from the color of memories. And I don't, it's just the 341390. And it just has some really cute spring cut aparts in it. And I just wanted to have it to have. I just thought it was really cute. And then this one is also from American Crafts in the Color of Memory series. And it is just an adorable, I picked up two sheets of this. This is 624424. And it's just got some cute teacups and coffee pots and things in it. I just really liked this one. This is American Crafts and this is also from the Color of Memory series. And I picked up a couple sheets of this as well. And this is 320304. And I just love this mint green with the black and white roses. I just thought it was so classic and so pretty. I picked up quite a few sheets of that. 
And then this is also from American Crafts, The Color of Memories. This is 624417. And I just love the little honeybees and the daisies and the little pink background. This thing is so cute. And then I picked up just some yellow cardstock. This is Coordination's cardstock in the color Oscar. And I picked up quite a few of those. It's a nice heavy cardstock with a little, kind of a little texture to it. So I picked up quite a few pages of that. And then I love this paper pad. It is the Wonderless paper pad. by FSC first edition paper and it has one glitter design two pearlescent designs two foil designs and half double sided papers so they I have shown this on my channel before because I have hauled it before but it has got some of these papers in here I absolutely love like this butterfly one here um, it, you can, it's, it's a beautiful pearlescent sheen to it and you've got three of each one of these designs um, this is one of my, this is one of the other ones in here that I, I just absolutely love um, they had it on clearance for seven dollars and 49 cent, 47 cents so I thought for 747 I really couldn't pass up picking up another one I love this B pattern here if I could just find that, I would probably buy like 10 sheets of it because I love that pattern. I think it's so cute. Um, then there's the back of this one that I just, I think I, I love that one as well. And it's the back of one of the double sided papers. And there's this back of this one. It's a real pretty gray honeycomb, which I like as well. And that's, I mean, there's a couple there that I think are okay. But those are pretty much my favorites out of that pad of paper. And that is everything that I bought at Joann's. And then we get into Tuesday morning, which is probably where I had the biggest majority of the things that I purchased. So I found these uh, probably this week when I went. Um, I've got quite a few bottles of folk art and other paints. Um, and I found these paint roll-ups. And I thought I could have my husband hang like a command hook on my wall and I could hang my paint bottles just your paint bottles hang instead of having them in a tote and taking up space in my closet where I could have other things sit so I did pick up two of these I probably could pick up a third or fourth but I picked up two of them it'll also be nice to be able to see what paint I have without having to go and pull out the entire tub so I picked up two of those um, I did pick up a small paper pad by Echo Park. It's called Botanical Garden. It was $5.99. It's got 48 double-sided papers to it. And this is what it looks like. Um, I just thought the paper in it was so pretty. It's got... Let's see what these white roses. And then there's the back of that. It's just a pretty green. And you've got this. And the back of it's just this tan with black polka dots. And you've got this one. And the back of it, it's just a, kind of a white with some leaves. You've got this real pretty white with pink roses. And then just a real pretty pink. And then you have the bigger pink roses. And the back of it's just a white and pink stripe. And then you've got the green with the pink. And you've got some more of the same leaves. And you've got the white and the mixed pinks and then another just pink I like the dark green background I like this too it's just a deeper pink with the black polka dots and that's just one of those green leaves 
I like how they do the white background with the softer colors and then they kind of fade into having the uh, dark green in there. And then this, and then it just starts over again. So I really liked the prints in this. I thought it was really pretty. I like the florals. So I had looked at these several times. These are the Echo Park sticker packs. There's 10 12 by 12 cardstock stickers sticker sheets. I did pick up the fall ones. There's 10 single sided fall themed heavy cardstock stickers. So they were $14.99 and then it was 20% off. So these are the, um, I'll try to get it close up. So these are the um, 10 different sticker sheets that you get in the pack. So I did go ahead and pick that up because they had it for 20% off. And then I also picked up this, I think it was summer one as well, but I picked up the spring one. I think they have a winter, like a Christmassy one, winter, Christmas, and I didn't see it when they had it for 20% off. This one has Valentine's Day and spring and Easter in this one. It only has two Valentine's Days in there, and then the rest of it's kind of spring and Easter. So, pick that up. Then I picked up these storage bins. I've seen these at Joann's and they are $9.99 for three or for the four of these. And I like having little bins like this that I can hold like beads or projects I'm working on. So I went ahead and picked these up. These are by Art Bin. So I went ahead and picked these up. Like they were $3.99 at Tuesday morning. And then I did pick up one Biggs die. This is the Sizzix Biggs die. It was $8.99. And this is the, it's called Bella. It's a flower. So I picked that up. And then I picked up quite a few dies that they had. This is the Sizzix Thinlet die for $4.99. And this one is Spring Foliage. I picked up this kitchen set. And it was $5.99. Like I said, it's called kitchen set. I love the little mixer and the whisk. And I like the little scale as well. And there was a tendency off all night. This one was $8.99. It is a Christmas like treat box. And it is called Snowflake Favor Box. And it's got two different designs you can put here in the center of this box. Then I thought I saw someone haul this and I searched for this several several days. This is called Bunny and Bear Hugs. This was $9.99. I think it's so cute that they can hold a little piece of candy. I picked this one up. This is a Thinlets die. This is $7.99. And this is called Tropical Elements. Not so much the centerpiece, but I love the frame portion of this die. This is also a Thinlet. I picked this one up. This is called Tulip. This is a Momenta die. It's cut, it's a cut and emboss folder. I'm not sure it's a cut and emboss folder. It's a cut and emboss set for $4.99. And it is number 38234R10. It says congratulations. I'm not sure I can see what this is. Celebrate. Yay. I'm not sure what the other ones say. There you go. I like the balloons too. Um, I picked up this Momenta set. It is called Build a Flower. And this was $6.99. This
this is like a little heart tree. I thought this would be, I thought this is so pretty. This was $6.99. This has got a doily and then like a little frame for a card. This was $7.99. It says it has the word thank you in it. I did pick up these nesting dies. And this is a nine piece set. And then I picked up this rose. I thought this was so pretty. And at first I thought it was two pieces, but it's only one. But it's such a pretty rose. There it is. I also thought it would be really pretty to paper piece. Like to do it in red and then do it in green and kind of cut the foliage away and piece it back together. Maybe. Might be difficult too. I thought it'd be really pretty. Then I picked up a stamp set from Hero Arts. This one is called. Do we have a name? Do we have a name? It says it's called Story Time Stamp Set. It was six dollars and ninety nine cents. Your classic. A book is a dream you hold in your hands. Life is a page turner with you. Books are like friends. You can't have too many. You're literally amazing. And I got it truthfully for the books are like friends. You can't have too many. And the, a book is a dream you hold in your hands. I thought those were such pretty quotes. So, there's the stamp set. For $6.99. So that is everything, thank heavens, that I have picked up while over the past few weeks. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I missed something. Lord help me. I missed something from Joanne's. You would think. And all this clutter on my desk. Let me show you what I picked up at Joanne's that I forgot. Mm -mm. I picked up some more beads. I picked up these berry beads from Joann's. I picked up the assorted color packages of berry beads from Joann's. These are 0.87 ounce bags of berry beads. This is what they look like. So they are in assorted colors. Most of them are pastel. There's a couple darker ones like that purple one. It's kind of a grapey purple. But most of them are pastels. And then I also in the berry beads, I picked up just the um, white. They're actually kind of an iridescent. I picked up two packages of the iridescent ones. And then I also picked up these beads here. They just call them assorted beads, but they're clear on the outside and then they've got a color on the inside. And there's a pink, kind of a, a green, a blue, a yellow, and a purple. They're just really pretty. It's a really unique kind of little bead. So I went ahead and picked those up. This is in a... It doesn't even say how many ounces. It just says there's 15 pieces. And then I also picked up some charms. I had picked up two sets. They were buy one, get one 50% off or buy one, get one free. And the other charms I sent to a friend in a swap. And then these I ended up keeping for whatever I might need them for. These are the Hildy and Joe charm set, the charmed set, and these are the sewing charms. So it's got a dress form, a pair of scissors, and the pair of scissors has a little um, rhinestone in it, a button, and an old time black enameled sewing machine. So I just thought those were so cute. There's the little rhinestone in the scissors. So, like I said, I went ahead and kept those. I thought they were just so adorable. So, that finally is everything that I picked up. 
So thanks for watching. And again, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. I would love to chat with you guys as always. And again, thanks again for watching. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. It would mean the world to me. I always appreciate having new subscribers. And if you do decide to subscribe or you are already subscribed, please consider hitting that little notification bell off to the side so that YouTube can hopefully notify you each and every time I upload a new video. And again, Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening or morning whenever you're watching this, and I hope to see you next time.